in this illustration, uh, we intend to simulate the progressive collapse of the reinforced concrete frame in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the reinforced concrete frame includes four spans and three stories. In this picture, you can observe the compressive damage of concrete. In the next picture, the force displacement diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the results mentioned in the article. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental Study on Progressive Collapse Resistant Behavior of Reinforced Concrete Frame Structures. As you observe in this picture, the reinforced concrete frame includes four spans and three stories. The height of the first story is uh, 1,567 millimeters, and the height of the second and third stories is 1,100 1, millimeters. The base span of the concrete frame is equal to 2,667 millimeters. In this question, a vertical load is applied to the top of the middle column, and this force being applied is as a result of the weight from top stories. This force has been displayed by F in this picture. Actually, this force simulates the weight of top stories. Here, the force displacement diagram has been drawn, and the main purpose of simulating this question is drawing such a diagram. In this picture, the concrete damage can be observed. In this picture, you can observe the concrete frame in laboratory. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of column. I will select 3D, deformable, solid, and extrusion. Enter approximate size equal to 1000 and continue. I will draw a square and enter its length and width equal to 200 millimeters. Actually, as explained in the article, the length and width of column is equal to 200 millimeters. Click on Create Instance, enter the beam into the Assembly section, and OK. I'll click on Translate Instance, select Beam, Done. First, select this point, then this one and OK. I will click on Translate Instance, select Beam, Done, and move that as much as 100 millimeters downwards. I'll click on Linear Pattern, select the Beam, and enter offset equal to 2,667 millimeters.
and OK. I'll click on linear pattern, select these four beams, select the concrete, done, enter approximate global size equal to 50 millimeters and OK. I'll click on mesh part, select the concrete and OK. I'll click on seed part instance, select all rebars, done, enter approximate global size equal to 50 millimeters and OK. Create material, here I intend to define the properties of longitudinal rebars. I'll click on general menu, select density, the density is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9. I will click on mechanical menu, select elasticity and elastic, Young modulus is equal to 210,000 megapascal and Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. I'll click on mechanical menu, select plasticity and plastic. Yield stress of longitudinal rebars is equal to 416 megapascal and the ultimate stress of longitudinal rebars is equal to 526 megapascal. Here select beam and then beam and continue. Here I select longitudinal rebar material. Enter Poisson ratio equal to 0 0.3. Here click on create beam profile. Here select circular and continue. As explained in the article, the diameter of the longitudinal rebars is equal to 12 millimeters, and actually the longitudinal rebars both for beam and column are equal to 12 millimeters. Here I'll enter radius equal to 6 millimeters, OK and OK. I'll click on create. Click on Create Beam Profile, select Circular, Continue. As mentioned in the article, the diameter of stirrups is equal to 6 mm. Actually, the diameter of them both for beam and column is equal to 6 mm. Therefore, here I'll enter radius Here, uh, you would select beam as a type of elements.
Here you observe the compressive damage of the concrete. Actually, the most damage uh, has occurred in these areas. As you observe in this picture, the beam connected to the middle column has been exposed to the most damage. Actually, the place where beam and middle column are connected has undergone the most damage. Here the deformation of the rebars and stirrups. Uh, in the next step, we intend to draw this diagram in the abacus software the horizontal axis is displacement and the vertical axis is the force of middle column i click on create xy data select odb field output and continue here i'll select unique nodal i'll Select reaction force directed at X and then displacement directed at X. Here I'll select S, uh, I'll select set 7, then uh, deactivate step 1 and uh, draw the force displacement diagram only in step 2. After that, I will click on save. I will click on create XY data, select operate on XY data, and continue. First, I'll select combine, then U1, and then RF1. I'll put a negative sign here, and click on save as. Here you observe force displacement diagram. Here I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton.
Here the diagram having been drawn with red color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated uh, properly and correctly in the Abacus software.